We have many clients that hire for positions where they feel the behavioral nature of the person is not a critical hiring factor. There are other things that they need to have, and if that person has it, then they're gonna hire them no matter what the personality is, and then try to figure out how to work with them and how to, and how to help that person be successful. You may be looking for somebody that, that has familiarity with medical terminology, linguistics, German, and they also speak Portuguese. If you find that person, <laughs> you're not gonna say, oh no, I'm not gonna hire them, I don't think they're patient enough, right? You're gonna hire them no matter what the profile says, but once you've hired somebody, knowing the nature of their personality is still very important. Not a hiring criteria, but it's a leadership criteria because you want to know that you are able to provide this person with an environment and leadership that aligns with them. Look, <laughs> you might have just spent nine months looking for a needle in a haystack. Don't you want to do everything in your power to keep that person on board? And so onboarding is a very important area that we work in. Now, you may have a wonderful onboarding system. I hope you do. You know, you've got online training, Zoom meetings, face-to-face, -face, new hire classes, all that stuff. But all that stuff is geared about helping your new hire learn about you. What are you doing to learn about your new hire? That's why our clients use us, because they feel that's also important and that's critical to, to their new hire success. So what do you get? You get an individual report on that individual that outlines the nature of their personality and that report goes to them. Let's face it, if you're a new hire, there's a level of nervousness, whether you show it or not, that am I the right fit for this role? Having a personality enlightenment exercise, and that really is what it is, really shows them the nature of what their behavioral strengths are. And then talk with them about how they can take advantage of those strengths in that environment. So there's a report that, that you get that also we recommend that the candidate gets. And there's an exercise with your new, new hire that says, um, tell us what motivates you. Tell us what's important to you. And so they respond with that. And the rhetorical question is, why not? Why would you not want to know what motivates your new hire? And then as a manager, you get the same report that you provide to your new hire, of course, but you also get a one page quick view that gives you the key and salient points about the personality style and tips as a manager to how to provide support to this particular person. And lastly, you get a side by side. So that report takes your personality style. The, the, this is this is the the manager of this new hire, whether it's a, a you know an individual contributor working for a first line manager or whatever the case may be. You've got the manager and you've got the, the new hire on one piece of paper, and this is an opportunity for the manager to have a better understanding as to the person that they're bringing on board and the new hire to have a better understanding as to who their manager is. That's the service. The value proposition from an economic standpoint is all about morale improvement, retention, and faster productivity. Nobody's buying the service because they want to be sure my kids are going to have a nice inheritance. They're, they're buying the service because it has value for them. Thanks for listening.